I've just finished a jar of dill pickles. Kind of got me thinking, what Christmas presents could kill you? You'll probably get up Christmas morning and be giving your seventh pair of socks from Aunt Betty, but it could be a lot worse. What if your Christmas present could send you to A&E or end your life? So today, we're gonna to take a look at the five most dangerous Christmas presents given to kids. We're gonna start off at number five, lawn darts. These were massive in the 70s, and let's be honest, it doesn't take much inspiration to work out why a weighted steel dart might be deadly. Not only were they withdrawn, but they were asked to be disposed of. That's pretty bad, but because it was the 70s, we'll give it a little pass. Number four, Gilbert's Atomic Lab. Talking of giving older products a pass, this one, having been released in the 60s, kinda gets that pass because of how long ago it was released. If it had been released more recently, it would probably be way higher on my list. But Gilbert's Atomic Lab gave children uranium. Just think about that. Uranium, one of the products to make an atomic bomb. Now yes, kids couldn't make an atomic bomb with just the uranium, you need to mix it to make it plutonium, but it gives off radiation. And that wasn't it. They also had potassium nitrate in the same box. That's the stuff used for gunpowder. How did they get away with this? But we'll let it off a little bit because it was from the 60s. Number three whooshes us into the 80s with a product that sounds pretty mild. The Snack Time Cabbage Patch Doll. It's a Cabbage Patch Doll. What could be so dangerous? Well, I'll tell you. These Cabbage Patch Dolls had little mechanic mouths that ate the products that came with the doll. So you put the little tiny carrot into its mouth and the motor would roll and eat the carrot. That sounds brilliant on paper, but what happens if you get your hair or finger caught in it? Simple, you just press the off button and avoid dramatic injuries. The problem was, there was no off button. That motor would keep going until it had devoured or physically couldn't devour what had been put into its mouth. Many people had hair ripped out of their heads, many people lost fingers, all down to a cabbage patch doll. Now look at these things. They're scary enough, but this one can literally eat your finger. Now these top two have both been released since the year 2000. So they have no pass on having lack health and safety laws. So we're into number two with magnetics. Now magnetics were trying to be the next Lego. There was little magnetic balls and little plastic sticks. You kind of mix them together and made whatever you could think of. Have a little look at these. The problem with this is if you eat one magnet. Now that's pretty painless. But if you eat a second magnet, they join together in your stomach grabbing any internal organs and pulling them together. How this was ever put on the market, especially in 2007, is beyond me. And number one was a CSI-related product. It was also released in 2007. So 2007 must have been a year that the health and safety people just stopped working, because this one's even worse. This was a CSI fingerprint kit but it's been affectionately known since as CSI asbestos, as it contained six times the legal limit of asbestos in a product. That is mental. This was a toy given to children in 2007. Now it didn't stay on the market for long and they did recall them, but 2007 asbestos CSI. I can't believe it. There's quite a few, supposedly. So there we have it. I've just been ranking, I've just banked, and now I'm off for a Christmas snooze. Have a lovely Christmas, guys, and see you in 2019.